Hello and welcome to Microsoft Copilot Learning Series and in this video we are going to learn that how you can create your e-commerce sales AI agent because nowadays it's time for AI agent and how you can create your sales AI agent using Microsoft Copilot Studio that is what we are going to explore in this video to watch till that let's see how we can do it. So friends, I am here in copilotstudio.microsoft.com and if you don't know how to reach here, go and type copilotstudio.microsoft.com using your official work email address. You can log in and if you don't have, go on Google and search temporary email. That is what you can use if you want to play with Copilot Studio. Once you logged in, you will come here and my my friend this is the home page of copilot so you can see here we have create click on create and the first option you will get that is how you can use ai to create new agent but we are not going to use it in our case we will directly click on create and it will take few seconds and you will be able to create a new agent before it was copilot but now Microsoft named it as an agent because this is time for agentic AI. That's why. So we have to wait for a few seconds and then we will be ready to edit this name. So just wait for a few seconds and then I will change the name. Now it, uh, it is ready. So I will name it Ecom Sales AI Agent. And using this agent, what I'm going to do is I am going to plan birthday party. So I am birthday party plan. Now I will save it. So click on save and now it is ready. The next thing is my friend that we go on, go in topics and we'll create a new topic from blank. So I will create it. And the first thing we need to do that is the input question, which question will trigger this topic. And in our case, that if someone will come and type something about party, like party planning, I want to plan the party, birthday party. So this should run. In that case, what I will do is I want to plan birthday party. So that is why what I added. So even though like sometimes it is not very similar to what we have here, but in that case also AI will able to uh, find the similar question and run this flow. So it is based on similarity search. So when you have something as a phrase and someone is typing totally uh, not uh, adject the word to word uh, sentence, but if uh, they are typing very similar to what you have here. It will find this uh, topic and run this. So that's the beauty. Now the next thing is we'll add the new question. AI will ask the copilot. The agent will ask back, and that is please select theme. So now we'll give the theme options. And I already have some themes. Let me find here. So I will add like princess. I will add superhero. So I will add this one superhero. Then I will add jungle. So let me add the jungle one. And then space. So I will add a space one. So now we have the number of themes. The thing is like I'm not adding this out of my mind. Uh, this is based on I have an Excel sheet here. You can see and here I have the themes. So when you are designing this kind of sales agent, you have to think that what you are going to sell and which kind of input you want from uh, back from customer. That is what you have to give as an input. In my case, uh, this is the theme that is what I'm now adding here and based on that i will try to filter the products i have in, the, in this excel sheet and then i will use generative ai to create 
a party plan. Now we don't need these conditions and that's why I'm dele deleting it. So let me delete and now it all deleted. So whatever customer will select that is what we will store in this variable. So I will select like selected theme and save it. We'll name it party planner. So now so far our agent is ready with like if someone will ask a question it will ask back for the input about the theme and whatever they will select it will store in a variable. Now the next thing is find out those products related to that particular theme and use that we use uh, those products as a generative AI input. So for that what we have to do is we have to create a power automate flow for that my friend you can see here call and action and there you can see create a flow once you click it will take you on a power automate page and here you need to name like uh, theme products So that is what we will name it, we will take input as a theme, so I will just use input theme and then the next part is we will try to get all those items in that excel set using list rows, this one and uh, here I will select the website and that is a SharePoint site. So I'm selecting SharePoint site and then I will select the folder that is document and then I will select the file. So I will select this one and here I have that file and the, then the, the table we have in that Excel sheet. So now it is ready. So, so far we have the input and we have the list of rows in that Excel. The next thing is we'll filter it out. So I will just click on filter array. So I will take this, use input as, as from the Excel and then I will use theme equal to input theme. So I will take the input theme here. So now we filtered and the next thing is we'll compose this output as a JSON. So I will use compose and then I will take input from filter array and this is what I will take as an output of this copilot. So I will use as a product list and I will give input output of compose. So now our flow is ready. Let me save and then publish and then test it. So it will take few seconds and let me test so it is ready for testing i will go for manual one and give the input as a theme and let's see what is coming so now it is running it means that uh, this is successful now what we'll do is that we'll go back in a copilot the name was theme products so i will go back in copilot I will refresh it and we will try to connect our power automate flow we created to filter products. So now I will go click on this plus button and then I will click call and action let it load. So let's see we have theme products uh, we have theme products so i will select this one let me delete it so i will call this one so i will theme products so you can see the input we had over there that is the theme that is what we have to give here and we have the product list as a output so i'll go here formula 
and use text why because we have a selected theme in a form of choice and that is what we can't use as an input we have input in a form of string so i will use topic and then selected theme so now it is in form of text and now i will click on insert so this is ready my friend now i will save it the next part is to create a prompt and use generative ai based on the input theme and products we have in our database to plan a party so i already have this prompt you can see uh, input so here you are a birthday party planner help user to plan birthday party for the theme so we'll add a theme here then products and we have like what should be there like activities suggestions and set up everything that is what we listed here so this is quite good you can create based on the items and products you have in your database based on that you have to create a prompt and that is what you will use in generative ai so the next thing we will click on plus go in advanced generative answers and now in input we are not going to use this input so you can type like party planner and then click on data source so here you can see we don't need any file or anything as a knowledge source so we'll leave it as it is and here you we have the like prompt you can customize your prompt with variables and plain language so i will add my prompt here i will replace this and add the dynamic value we have in our flow using this x so i will add the theme now we have the theme replace this with product list so i will add product list now our prompt is ready so if you want to send this uh, response generative ai response directly back to the customer tick this box if you want to store this information somewhere in a variable you can untick and use uh, store in a variable so for example i'm just going to create a variable so you will have better idea and click here So I'm going to use complete recommended. This is what recommended is. And then select a variable. So I will add this response. And then we'll save it. So now you can see our flow is ready. What is happening here is that we are getting product and then we have the generative AI. So we are sending back to the users for that we will click and we are also storing in a variable. So let me see. And now it is ready for testing. So let's click on test. So I will click on test and I will type I want to plan birthday party. So now it will ask for the theme. So I will select the superhero. Again, like I'm using Power Automate Flow and there I connected with SharePoint and that's why I have to connect it to check the permission. So I will submit. Now it is connected. We'll go back here again like now it is connected go back again and i will just refresh this and i will again type i want to plan birthday party and again we have to select the theme theme is selected and just wait for a few seconds it's going back to the co-pilot and now it is going back to the co-pilot and now you can see we have like how birthday uh, banner superhero theme you can prepare a banner superhero set up the different uh, like uh, stations where kids can complete superhero task superhero photo booth superhero snacks table superhero cake uh, goodies so you can see like 
it will give you complete and also it is mentioning that which kind of products you can use so that is what the based on the products we provided like you can say like uh, these are the products so in a very passive way you are giving the customer response that this is how you can plan and these products you can use and that is what you have in your database so this ai agent will help to boost your sales like customer will come with a problem and it will help to solve that problem along with the product and items you have in your database so hope this will help you like this is how you can create your sales ai agent in your business so with that we came to the end of this video and if you like my content please like and subscribe my channel so i can create this kind of videos again and again this will be a very simple thing for you but it means a lot to me that what will give me energy to create this kind of videos again and again so see you next video till then bye this is sandeep misra signing out Thank you.